All right, Creative World, we are embarking on our first studio tour. We just got to Kim's house, so uh, let's do this. Hey, hey what's up? What's going on? What's up, Creative World? Hello. All right, guys, we're here with Kim for our first studio tour ever. So this is a Creative World Weaver P first world premiere. So we're super excited. As you guys know, Kim is having her show November 7th. Yes. Um, and that's quickly approaching. And today we're just gonna get to know Kim a little bit. We're gonna get to see where she creates, how her process is, and uh, just so we get you know familiar with our creative world and who's out there and how people are making their art. So. Um, Show us around? Yeah, I'll totally show you around. Hey. Come on in. Let's go, let's do this. Can't hold me up too quick. Can't hold me up too damn quick. Can't beat me up too sick. You can't beat me up too damn sick. Can't hold me up too quick. So what piece do we have behind you? So behind me we have my mentor's piece. So mm -hmm. this is an original Enzo Russo. He was an Italian surrealist. Mm -hmm. He studied under Giorgio De Chirico. So I always like to say that Giorgio De Chirico is my grandfather. <laughs> Another Enzo Russo original, mm -hmm. and then this is the one and only piece that me and him have collaborated on and signed together. Wow! So it's very special to me. I also got an original Jessica Ortega. Ooh! Ooh I know. This is our dining room. As you can see, our cat just walks wherever he feels like, mm -hmm. and he's okay with it. Yes, I know. You like to be the center of attention, buddy. So. We can relate. <laughs> I don't spend a lot of time in here. Mm -hmm. I have a husband who does a lot of the cooking. <laughs> I collect Buddhas, mm -hmm. Ganeshes, anything religious, essentially. Mm -hmm. What attracts you to these deities? See, I like the symbolism of them. Mm -hmm. Like. Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. Mm -hmm. And Buddha is just such a happy man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and the meditation and sitting, it's just, I love what they stand for. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that, you know, I I work with spirituality and I try to incorporate it into my work. Mm -hmm. And when I was coming to terms with my own spirituality, I could understand by looking at a statue. Mm -hmm. I could see it. It just... It was visually pleasing to me. Mm -hmm. So they became the subject of a lot of my paintings, which you'll see later. So where is it that you create? Where is your studio? How does the chem process, where does that go down? Come on. Cool. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah. I know, I know. Recognize that. Original Weaver P in the house. Yes. Um, I was hoarding that paint, painting for a long time until we just did our creative show at the Mad Lab, the Mad Lab Takeover. And then Kim was like, I need that. And I had to part way with it. But I felt so special that someone like Kim can actually have it because it was a, it was a breakthrough piece for me. Um, when I first made it, it was something that I hadn't done before. And it meant so much for me. It was just a way of actually putting myself out there and speaking something that I felt. And uh, I couldn't have had it go to someone more special. I am creative as fuck. Hey. And I am proud of it. One of my other favorite things, love books. Oh, so inspirational. I have my book collection. I'm also going to school to be creative arts therapist. So mm -hmm. I have all of my therapy books up here. Oh, and I got little trinkets that I've collected along the way. I got Callie. She's up there just chilling with her severed head. I have a painting based on her, which you'll see a little bit later. I like to mix everything up, mm -hmm. you know? And this is where I get a lot of my inspiration. Reading is fundamental. This is where I do a lot of my emails. Mm -hmm. I edit photos. I edit paintings or ideas that are in my mind. I try to keep everything pretty organized. I have a bunch of notebooks that have different ideas that have different scribbles in them. Then over here, so I have a couple of canvases that I've already primed and I just kind of keep them there if I want to throw something randomly on there. I keep magazine clippings. I keep old ideas. Then I have my camera, which I love. It's a Canon Rebel XTI. I still use it, still use it very old school. I used it to take your picture the other day. We had a big photo shoot, so if you guys haven't checked that out, check out the gram. I keep my insects. 
sense because I do yoga in here. My yoga mat's actually in the car because I was at the Mad Lab with Vicky Cook doing yoga. I have some of my paintings out right now because I'm trying to figure out where they all go or how they go together. So I'm working on a much smaller medium right now because I, I wanted to give something to people that they can have in their home. Not everyone has a lot of wall space. Not everyone has the ability to have a huge painting on their wall. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing some things that are a little bit smaller, a little less time consuming. It helped me to kind of release a lot of ideas I had. I also have my little logo stickers. Nice. So I'll be selling those at the show. I like to go for duality. So the fire and water theme, that's kind of what I'm going for. Then over here, we have my treadmill, which is right now being used to hold a piece of artwork that is not yet on the on the piece it should be. Mm -hmm. And the show's coming up in a week, so artists like to procrastinate. <laughs> this is my favorite spot of the studio. This is where I paint. You know, this is where I keep everything that's really important to me. This is where I have a bunch of my all my palette knives are in here. I like to reuse stuff. So this mug was way too big to use for coffee. So <laughs> now it's for my palette knives. Over here, you have a bunch of paint brushes. You gotta have a bunch of paint brushes. One of the most important things is I take care of my paint brushes. I take care of my materials because they are so essential to what I create and how I create. They get a lot of respect and they're hella expensive. So I make sure to wipe them off, to clean them, and to let them dry. I got a little chill area. Well, as I said, I'm becoming a creative arts therapist. So hopefully at some point, this will become, as my husband coined it, the therapy dome. I'm in the low residency program at Pratt for mm -hmm. creative art therapy. I wouldn't be there without Jessica. She knows how much I love her. I'm gonna take my tea. Yes. Then we come here. Honestly, I'm very blessed because I have never had this much space in my entire life to put all of my art supplies. I finally moved all of my stuff out of my mom's house. She held on to it for many years. I keep them all in here. I have some painting supplies, cords, glue, pastels, flashlight just in case. Mm -hmm. I'm working on an art therapy assignment, so that's why that thing is there. Um, magazines, more art books, because you can never have enough art books. Yeah, I like to keep myself pretty organized. I love it. And it's so important, especially when you're working in different mediums, that you keep everything kind of very organized and you also care about your materials. Mm -hmm. They're an extension of you. I've had good luck keeping my materials in good shape for a very long time. These are the lovely painting racks that my husband has built me. I'll show you kind of a couple of my favorites. So, so years ago I did an abused woman series. And this is one of my favorites. Just another one of my Is that you? It is me. It's me sans tattoos. Ooh. I know. Okay. All of my images are from references. Do you take do you all, do you take all of those pictures, or do other people t take them? So this one was actually taken by a, a photographer friend of mine. But most of my images I have now taken. I did use some source material mm -hmm. from the internet. Mm -hmm. um, I've used material from from magazines. I've used stuff from all over the place. But now I feel more comfortable taking my own photos mm -hmm. because it's my ideas. Of course because it just keeps going. So I try to keep everything as organized as possible. A little Marilyn Monroe action. Uh, one of my favorite pieces was actually created for one of the mad shows. Oh my God, I remember that. Yeah. That was for the Fearless show. That right? was for the Fearless show. And from there, it kind of just everything took off. Thank <laughs> you.
Can't hold me up too quick. Can't hold me up too damn quick. Can't beat me up too sick. Can't beat me up too damn sick. Can't hold me up too quick. Can't hold me up too damn quick. And still, it feel like I tried out the limitless pill, and I could do anything within my will. I'm wildin', I'm wildin', I ain't sitting still until I'm sitting on top of a mill like ovens and saunas. I ain't got no chillin'. If we get busted, I'm paying a bill. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm keeping it real. These niggas so gangster till they see the steel. Pause. I'm coming for niggas and even they draws. Pause. I'm coming, all ladies and dropping they draws and all that.